told us. He said, oh, wow, you're looking really good. He said, you're the young man that they told me was dead. They told him that my son was dead when he got to the hospital. I'll tell you how good God is. When this man normally doesn't work at this hospital, he get calls and he go to certain hospitals, but this is not the hospital he normally works at, work out of. For some reason, it was all God. This man was at this hospital. When this man gets to this hospital, my son is laid on the table. He walk in the room. He says, we need to do surgery. They tell him, what you gonna do surgery on, on, on him for? He dead. The man look at him and the man say, no, he's not dead. I see life in him. He's not dead. We need to get him ready for surgery. They say, why do you want to get him ready for surgery? He's dead. He's dead or he's dying. He's dead. Listen, listen to this. He's dead or he's dying. Why do you want to do surgery on him? He said he's seen life. Y'all, it brought chills through my body. It brought chills through my body. I'm just like, are you serious? He said, yes. They told me your son was dead. I immediately said, you know what, sir? Thank you for not thinking like them. He said they were not even doing anything to save his life. He was laying there, y'all. He had life in him, but they was doing nothing to save his life. This is an emergency room. This is where... People go to be saved. People go when they hurt. People go when they sick. But because of the color of your skin and the prejudice in this world, you get mistreated and you are left to die. You are left to die. They was going to let him die, but God. It ain't nobody in this world bigger than God. But see, they could not do God. God sent a man into the room. What he told them, I want him prepped and ready for surgery now. He told me, he said, he said he want him prepped and ready for surgery now. That man said he took him into surgery and he did everything his heart desired. 